In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. St. Teresa is one of our patrons. Uh, she's the patron of uh, the missions, the patron for uh, the conversion of souls. And what made her great was that she, uh, the, the scripture we just read, our Lord says, unless you become like a little child, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. He humili humiliates himself like a child. Well, he's the greater in the kingdom of heaven. St. Teresa took this to heart, and she tried to follow this, always thinking uh, small of herself, always thinking little of herself, and uh, uh, carrying the daily cross. So she did, she, she did nothing extraordinary, nothing uh, uh, what the world would call great, nothing that even uh, the other nuns uh, called great. They thought she was just an ordinary uh, a nun, but yet she was called the greatest saint by the Pope of, of our time, the greatest saint of our century, because she was uh, opposed to the way of our century. She opposed the way of our time by following the way of the cross, following the way of Christ. And this is uh, what we have to remember, and that if we want to be saints, we got to follow the way our, our Lord went. We are called to be saints, so it's not optionable to say, I don't want to become a saint, I just want to get by. That's not, uh, that's not the way of uh, the soldier of Christ. That's not the way of the Christian. So what did St. Teresa do? Well, first of all, she did what she was supposed to be doing. And that's, a, that's something we can ask ourselves when we're doing something, was this what I'm supposed to be doing? Or should I be doing something else uh, if we're uh, squandering our time. She always did what she was supposed to be doing. When she was supposed to be praying, she was praying. And her mind was on her prayers. And she said, I, I'm, my mind's where I am. I'm doing what I'm doing. If I'm praying, my mind is on my prayers and I'm praying. And that's what we have to do as well. We have to uh, do what we are doing uh, uh, with our body and soul. And, uh, so that's uh, one thing she did. And uh, she did what she was supposed to be doing. And she did it for the glory of God, for the glory of God, uh, uh, that uh, God might accept the, her, her sacrifices, God might accept her duty uh, as her main sacrifice. And this is what we were told, our daily duty now is the main sacrifice that we have to give to God. And so we want to do our duty well, and we want to do it for the glory of God. And this way we will imitate uh, St. Teresa and do uh, as, as she did. What else she did was... Uh, uh, she did not complain. She accepted the cross. And this is something Sister Mary Liez has told the children in the, in the Crusade magazine, do not complain. She said DNC, remember that, DNC, do not complain, uh, but uh, accept the crosses and if something goes wrong, will you offer it up and you don't, uh, uh, don't complain about it. So there's, there's stories of Sister uh, Teresa being persecuted by some of the other sisters and she didn't complain. She accepted that as part of her cross and made it a means of her sanctification. And so she showed us that just by doing little things for the love of God, we can do them well. And she had great desires. Uh, David was uh, loved, beloved by God because he was a man of desires. He wanted to please God in all things. St. Teresa uh, wanted to do everything for God. So she had great desires. She was locked up in the Carmel. She could not go do great things, but she wanted to do great things for God. And so she wanted to be a missionary. She wanted to be a martyr. She wanted to be uh, all these things, if that was the will of God. And so she did do them. And she is now the patron of the missions because she was so concerned with the conversion of souls and bringing, uh, uh, and bringing uh, the faith to infidel lands. And she was concerned about the missionaries and she loved to hear the stories of the missions. And she prayed for the missionaries. And this is um, why she is a patroness patroness of, of the missions. And today the whole world is mission territory because the whole world, every country, every nation today is an infidel nation. There are no Christian nations anymore. So the whole world is missionary country. So St. Teresa has to be concerned with the whole world as uh, uh, part of her patronage. And so we do need to pray for her and to be devoted to her. And she is especially one of our patrons here in Australia. So uh, we do want to pray to her for the conversion of Australia, that Australia may not become an infidel land, more, any more infidel than it already is, 
uh, and rather uh, that uh, it might convert and bring the faith to others. So we pray for the conversion of sinners, whether they're family members or just uh, others that we pray for. Well, we want to pray also through the intercession of St. Teresa and ask her to obtain for them uh, uh, faith, obtain for them faith that they might then live lives pleasing to God. And let's pray to her also for ourselves that our own faith might be strengthened, that we may be more dedicated to our duty, and that we might to, uh, try to do all that we do for the love and honor and glory of God. In the name of God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.